everyone, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use color drop and how to use swatch drop and the difference between the two. Now you might already be using color drop and just might not know it. It's the most common way to add color and procreate so you might be doing it already. So to use color drop all you have to do, you can pick any color you want. I'm going to pick like a peachy color from my disc. orangey peach and then to do color drop all you have to do is hold down on the color drag it and drop it in okay that's actually not as peachy as I want it so let me let me orange it up a little bit there we go okay that's more peachy so Doing that is called color drop. You probably know how to do it. If you don't, it is the easiest way to add color. It's so fast. You just drag and drop each color that you want. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to use swatch drop. So go to one of your palettes. I'm gonna go to Boho Warm Vibes. I'm gonna tap on this little pink right here. So in order to do swatch drop, you Press and hold down one of your swatches with your pencil and drag it in. So that is called swatch drop. So swatch drop is really cool because if you're adding a ton of different colors from one specific palette, it becomes a little cumbersome to have to tap on a color, go up here to color drop, drop it in, tap on another color here. Go up there to color drop, drop it in. That takes a while. So swatch drop is awesome to use if you're dropping in a ton of colors from one palette because you can just do it really fast like that. Let me put it back to where it was. Like that, like that. And that's it. So that's the difference between color drop and swatch drop. Swatch drop is also great if you have a lot of palettes and it takes a while to scroll down to get to your palette. It's really helpful because a lot of times if you exit out and then go back in, it's, it's a little bit cumbersome to get all the way back to the palette that you were using and pick the color. So swatch drop is great for that. And then color drop is great for just quick and easy dropping of colors in projects that aren't very complex. So that's the pros and cons to both of them. They both work great. I use them both on a daily basis. So it's up to you as to what you want to do. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.